This is probably the most clickbait product I have ever purchased, ever purchased. The world of clickbait products is such an interesting one. Every one of these products I bought because I was enticed, I was baited to click on it. Now we're gonna find out if they're actually worth buying because we need to know if any of these products are actually as good as they look online. Today's video is sponsored by one of my favorite athleisure and athletic clothing lines, Halara, who I actually also found online and tested and ended up loving. And last year, or maybe it was earlier this year, I tried out their padded off leggings, which if you are unfamiliar, are basically pet hair resistant leggings. And I tried them out with my sister who has two dogs, Buffy as well as Webster. I don't know if you remember, but Webster was like a little puppy when we tried them out and they work great. Those are the 1.0s, but they've come out with 2.0. So obviously I needed to take them over and test them out with my sister. Okay, who's excited to see some dogs? I wanted to show you the outfit. I have it on right now. This is the padded off 1.0, the uh, leggings as well as the crop cami, small, medium. You can see where it sits on me there. And if you haven't tried the padded off 1.0 before, like the fabric feels a lot like the Cloudful 3.0, like really buttery soft, super stretchy. This has the built-in bra. And then I'm also gonna be wearing, this is the padded off flow little crop jacket. The material of this one is more like ribbed. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a nice ribbed material. And then I'm bringing for Lauren the padded off 2.0 leggings. So I'll show you like close up so you can see, but the biggest difference I found between the two, cause I did try on, the 2.0s, but obviously I'm giving them to Lauren because you know what, she deserves it. The biggest difference between them is that the 2.0 feels more like a workout legging. Like it's supposed to be super breathable, moisture wicking, like meant for workouts and really, really good at, of course, not keeping the dog hair on. So that's what we're going to go and see. It's a pretty shade of blue too. It's like peacock, it's gorgeous. We tried to cover ourselves with as much dog hair as we possibly could. We were literally doing like snow angels on the floor and like scooting around. I was rubbing myself up against Buffy's bed. Just like, I'm trying to sleep, girl, leave me alone. And you can see in the close up, it just like pats right off. And for the 2.0 leggings, like Lauren was legitimately scooting along the floor and there was dog hair that was still on the floor. Like it was hard to get the dog hair to like stick to the leggings. It was wild. Right now they have their anniversary sale going on and I also have my Rage 20 coupon code for 20% off all regularly priced items. So the whole website is on sale. I hope you love them as much as I do and now let's dive into some clickbait products. And we're gonna start with my brows cause I haven't done those yet. And I saw this brush and I saw someone using it and it created the most natural looking brow I have ever seen. But let me tell you a story about this brush. So I bought this off a website because that's how clickbait goes sometimes. You're just like, well, don't steal my identity. And I went back to, you know, look and make sure I was using this product right. Cause I saw it, I saw it on TikTok as well. And um, the link is dead. Like the whole website is down. So that's awesome. I feel really good about that. This is the brush right here. It's kind of square. It's very like soft. This is what it looks like. And the way that I saw people using it is they kind of dipped it into like a product and then they just like brushed and it just like made insanely beautiful breath. So I'm gonna try it on my hand first because I wanna see if that's actually gonna happen. Okay, I have three different products I wanna try this with. So one is just like a powder. I wanna see what that looks like. Two is this um, thickening brow mascara. Remember we tried this from NYX and I wanted to cry. So we're gonna try that and just like dab it on, you know? And then the other thing, I was looking for like a brow pomade type thing, you know, like the little pots and I can't find one, but I do have a black eyeliner. So I figured we could like try that and see what it looks like. And then wash this or at least wipe it off really well. So let's start with the powder. I'm just gonna get some product on the brush here and then Okay, that doesn't do anything. Next, let's try this product. It was really just the, I didn't like the mascara wand with it. I think that was what was really like bugging me. Let's try this. Like I see small amounts of product on there. Is it because it's so light? Is it the product consistency? Okay, let's try it with like um, this type of product, you know? It's a lot, Rachel. Wiped it off. Now let's try it. All right, this is gonna be really difficult to understand, but I, I kind of get it. See how it's kind of brow-like? Is definitely, I feel like, one of those things that you need to practice at to get, and you have to be like 
flicky in the way that you apply it. I'm very torn on this. So like part of me says, like I understand because it's making this really cool, oh, you can't see that. It's making these cool little brow hairs, which I think is really cool. However, this is something that would take a lot of practice for me. And I feel like this is only going to be helpful at all if you don't have a lot of brow hairs. I think for myself, my issue is more like there are areas that aren't even or I have to kind of fill in and touch up. This isn't gonna be as helpful for me, but I can see this as something that like at the end, after you've gotten like the shape you want and you wanna add in some like brow like hairs in like specific spot, I understand where this is coming from, but this would take so much practice for me to get and nail down. And I think some of the videos that I saw, they were just like, and it was just like, it was perfect. So yeah, that's, that would, that's how it would go for me. I would, I would need a lot of practice. Kind of cool though. And I'm sure you don't need this specific one. You would just need something that has like a square angled tip and then just kind of flick it up. Cause I don't use this part as much. I'm just using this part is what I've kind of seen. I don't know. That's how I feel about it. But clearly the products that I'd have aren't gonna work for my brows, but you can see it here. So let me get my brows done. All right. There we go. And now the next product I want to include because it was something that, so sometimes I'm looking for clickbait products. Like I'm looking for things that look, look interesting and unique. I'm like excited to try them. And then sometimes I don't realize I was clickbaited until after I've bought it. And that's this one. And it's a perfume. It's by the brand Commodity and it's called Milk. Just Milk. And I remember coming across it and being like, I don't, I don't understand. And so I got pulled into this world because I don't know if you know this, but I'm very much in my fragrance era right now. And I've been going through all my like perfumes that I have and culling it down and trying to find some like scents that I really like, mixing scents, that kind of thing. And so I got pulled into this and I saw a lot of people really love it. And then I read the notes and I was like, oh, I might actually really like this. Put all the notes up on the screen here, but it's um, marshmallow, tonka bean, mahogany wood, cedar, musk, like it's really light, it's got that pillowy marshmallowiness that I tend to really like. Not a cloyingly, almost caramelized roasted marshmallow way. It adds this like creamy note that I really like. I'm very curious to try this out because I have heard really good things now that I've been like pulled into this world. Okay, first in the box. Okay, I need to put this on my skin, hang on. Ooh. It's really soft, very subtle. I smell some of the woody notes. It's a little bit sweet, but more in that like really soft warmth kind of way, not in that like hit you in the face way. Got another note in there. What is that? Must be the tonka bean. I don't honestly know what a tonka bean is. I guess I'll just look that up. Tonka bean scent. Uh, that's what it is. So tonka bean is supposed to be like vanilla tobacco, gourmand, very woody kind of pistachio. So it's got that sort of nuttiness to it as well. Okay, I'm curious how this is gonna like dry down and see. Part of me really likes it and part of me can't stand it. I don't know how I feel about this one. Okay, I'm gonna see how it dries down. And while we let that dry down, I want to try out this product that I saw. I think it's been rumored anyway. I don't know if it's been confirmed but Taylor Swift used this product when well, on her Eras tour, or is currently, I guess. It's the Ben Nye Final Seal Matte Makeup Sealer. And I've seen people do full faces of makeup and then spray this on and then dunk their face into water and it doesn't move, which is just wild to me. And so I actually just saw all the comments from the last one I tried, it was the, um, the one size spray and people were saying how great it is in a humid climate where you'd want your makeup to last all day out wedding season where you want your makeup to be in just like perfect peak condition all day long and you're out in the sun or you're talking to people and you're out and about and you're doing things and it's just like not gonna move so that one's really good so i'm curious about this one oh, what kind of a spray is that oh i hate I hate that spray. It's kind of a minty scent though. Goodness, my gosh, I don't even know. How how are you supposed to spray that? That was so weird. I think it's because I was expecting, <laughs> I just got it like fully on my lid. It's such a weird feeling on my face. It's very like, like sticky. I was expecting it to be like misty. That was my downfall. I should have sprayed it first just to see, but it's like, like right in your face. You see this? 
That's like really aggressive. Maybe I have to do it from even farther away? I don't know. No, nope. it's very directional. It's very, uh, it's very one direction. Anyway, don't love the applicator of that at all. And it feels like a, like a sticky film on my skin. Maybe it dries down differently. I don't have a lot of experience with this brand and I know that Ben Nye is, I think to my understanding is like a, like a professional's brand or like for theater makeup maybe. So maybe I'm using this incorrectly. And obviously this is for like keeping your makeup on, like a, it's a sealer and you seal it to your face. So as an everyday makeup setting spray, no. But maybe this is good for like special occasions, you know? So um, we'll see on that one. Okay, this one, you know what it is? You know what I don't like about this? I think it's the almond in it is really bothering me. Yeah, it's the nutty note that is, and maybe it's because I have an allergy to it. Not almonds in particular, like that, that I'm fine with them. I'm not gonna like break out in a, I'm not gonna bring it in a rash or anything, had to check just in case. But no, I don't like the almond note in it, but I really like all of the other elements in that one. Yeah, too heavy on the nuttiness, not, not my thing. Glad I tried it though, I've been hearing a lot of good things. Okay, now I wanna try out a product that I just, it is just a classic clickbait product for me. And I went on the website for this product and they have a bunch of new stuff and I got into like reading M more into it. Very entertaining. The brand is Kefi or Kefi. It's a bubble cleanser and it's like this cleansing foam. It's supposed to be for sensory play. You can use it for kids or adults. Who's to say? But they have different scents, different colors, just like really fun. But I was like, I'm gonna do some reading into like more on this product so I can understand it more. I believe the brand is Korean in that it was in a trustworthy Korean manufacturing facility is what they say. That's one of their five reasons, five promises in fact. But it's when you get down to the certifications, they really go in on the certifications. So you have things like FDA approved, uh, CGMP certified, skin irritation index, like those are names and things I've heard of. But did you know they're also certified in PL Zero Insurance, 100 million one subscriptions. Don't know what that means. They're also certified, so you know, in corporate competitiveness, number one. Also, very important, they have a certification in brand value. They're number one. But they really, they provide a lot of um, details into their test method, test subjects, for irritation, like they go in on it. They have Nano Ceramide NP, a patent ingredient for a moist finish. Also, it is a soft, chewy, special foam. Though they do also say don't actually eat it though. So obviously we need to try it. I got two different ones. I got um, honeydew as well as berry. And obviously we need, we need to spray these. Spray into the air for five seconds to remove the compressed air and then use it. I'm gonna put my hand here just in case. Oh my gosh, glad I did. There's no compressed air. Lies, ooh, it smells good though. That is honeydew. Okay, let's see, let's see. Let's see if this is like foamy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> look at that. Oh my gosh, look what I made. This is like the texture of... I can't even finish my sentences because I am so overjoyed with this. Are you kidding me? Well, that's what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of my time in this video. The texture of this is so fun. This is actually interesting too because in the thing, it says it's like a bubble and it shows like a little swirl, like a nice little like, like an ice cream. And then they're like, these are the new ones. They have laser, which was like this one. And then they have a noodle one, which is like a cool shape kind of thing. So it's like fun for kids. It smells really strongly of honeydew. That is wild. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Okay, hold on. I am leaving this right here because I want to see what happens. I'm gonna wash my hands and then I'm gonna do the other one. Let's do the blue one now. Give it a good shake, 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 shake. Oh my gosh, it's getting everywhere. Oh my gosh, I have bubbles all over my phone. Get out of here. Oh my gosh, do you see? Can I capture them? They're just floating. I feel like I'm in some sort of weird horror film. I don't think anyone can see this except for me. And there's just particles. They're not dissolving. They're just bouncing around. So let's do it more into my hand then. That's what I'm talking about. It is 
very fun. This one is still intact, but maybe only use it in your bathroom would be, would be what I would say about that. I don't know anything about the ingredients other than they have the, the ceramide in it. So use at your own discretion. It is a soap, very fun though very squishy, like I am genuinely excited about this. And I think this is like, just like a lot of fun. Very cool. Is that the soap? This is the soap. This is 100% worth the hype. How beep, incredible beep, is that? Beep, beep, beep. Yeah, yep. Yep, that's everything. Yep, oh. shut up and take my money. <laughs> All of my money. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine just getting into a full bath of this? Yeah. Pa, pa, just, pa. There is nothing else to be said here except for you immediately yes i had to show that immediately to low low needed to see that yeah these are super fun the berry one doesn't really have much of a scent i didn't even mention that the berry scent isn't very strong the melon one is though i have put the little mounds of them in my sink because i'm very curious if they'll just stay like that until they're like played with enough that they squish and dissolve or you know what happens so Stay tuned. Now onto a product for my ponytails. So all my fine hair girlies know, when we do our ponytails, they just sort of hang there. Like, I want like a perky ponytail and I've never had that before in my life. So uh, I got the Kitsch Pro. This is the Pony Full and it's supposed to give you a voluminous ponytail. I've tried some stuff from Kitsch before. I really like their um, pillowcases, but I've never tried this. Cause what I'm curious about is like, who is this made for? It's made for us. No, actually, you know what? I take that back. This could also be good if you have really thick hair, because I feel like if you have thick hair, sometimes maybe your ponytail isn't like as voluminous. This actually might work better if you have thicker hair. But basically what this does is you stick this into your ponytail and your hair will like go over top of it basically. And you'll have this like pretty voluminous ponytail. Like look at this girl. Look how happy she is in the after. She's thrilled and her ponytail looks fantastic. So, step one, put your hair in a ponytail. Okay. I'm gonna use the elastics that they provided. These are their no snag elastic. Well, normally I use like the gimme elastics. I love those. Okay, hair is in a ponytail. Not a very cute one, but that's what my ponytail looks like right now. And we need to split our ponytail horizontally. Is that split in half? I feel like, oh, that's good. And then you take this little pick thing. Can you see the little pick? You put that into the, into the ponytail and then hook it into the elastic. Hook the pick into the center of the ponytail, pushing downwards. It will instantly expand the elastic and make your ponytail feel tighter. How do you stay in though? Pushing downward just keeps falling out. I'm trying again. Okay, okay, I think I got it now. And then you just kind of like put the hair over top. I already know this is gonna be bad. So I'm just gonna show you what it looks like now. Ta-da! It does look expanded from the side, but I'm gonna show you this way. You can see it right there. You see him, little guy? And like, that's not as cute. I would have to like back comb to get it to cover, I think. I don't know, man. Like, is that better? Can you see it? To be honest, it feels covered, but like this, this side, feels weird though. I don't know how I feel about it. I think it's good. I need to curl my pieces under so it's all like this, you know? Before and after, what do we think? It doesn't feel uncomfortable in my head. That's a bonus. I'm just genuinely concerned that you're gonna be able to see right through this thing. I think I would feel too nervous to use this. If there was one that was a little bit thinner, like this way, I think I would feel a little bit better and just have like a little oomph to my ponytail. But this is so out there that I think that if you had thicker hair and you want something to just sort of rest on top, this would be great. But if you have fine hair that you're not sure if it's gonna cover, just no, this isn't gonna do it. The ponytail elastics are very nice though. I do like them and it's not an uncomfortable ponytail at all. So that's bonus. What else we got here? Oh, this product. This I saw a video of. I don't even remember where I saw it from, but Lo and I were killing ourselves laughing because, okay, so this is an, a massager for your back and I have not a great back situation. Lo is pregnant and has been also experiencing back pain if you know you know and we saw this and it's supposed to like mimic like shoulder rubbing like this I've never seen a massager like this before but when I tell you I watch <laughs> I watched their video and they're showing the product working and then they and they show the ghost hands of like this is what it's supposed to be like it's so good this is 10 out of 10 quality entertainment so let's see 
if that's what this does. Because I saw it, I clicked on it immediately. Oh, I don't have any cords that are gonna be long. We're gonna bring this downstairs because I hear Chris downstairs and Lo and Chris are gonna try this with me. But this is what it looks like. Have you ever seen a massager like this? Because I haven't. And then I guess you put it on like this and see those little things in the back? It's gonna massage your shoulders and I am excited. Okay, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've made it downstairs. I have my thing. Lo has already laughed at me. So now I need to turn it on and figure out how to film this at the same time. You are plugged in, what do you need? Okay, hang on, I need to look this up. Oh, figured it out, didn't even have to look it up. This is for charging it. You don't actually need to keep it plugged in, which is a bonus. I should have known that since I just watched the video. So I'm gonna put this on and then I'm gonna turn it on and you're just gonna stare at me like this for a second. Oh, okay, so I don't know if you can see. This is so weird. It really gets into your neck more than I was expecting. This is bizarre. Okay, how do I feel about this? Hang on, to put you down. Maybe put it down a little bit? No, because if I do it like this, then it doesn't sit. I feel like I'm missing a part of this, hang on. I have it attached to me, like a little backpack. I don't know if you can see it right there. It's like massaging in the back there. I'm trying to decide how I feel about it. It's really like going aggressively at my neck. I am not getting anything on the lower parts. They're not really touching my back at all. And like these things aren't helping at all. Okay, maybe it's just my back. Wait, hang on. Christopher, come, come and try this. Christopher, you're doing a great job. You put it on, you have to buckle that around, back and around the back. Oh, not as limber as I used to be. <laughs> and then it also heats up too. Is it hurting you? Yes. The bottom things, they're not really touching you at all. That's the weird part. Like it's not weighted well. Nope, that's not it either. That's what it's supposed to do. Oh, okay. Well, I hate it. Yeah. I hate massages so much. Okay, Maybe well. Maybe this is a good massage, but I hate it. Wait, I have another weird thing though. Okay, you have to hold out your hand though. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 other way. It's like a soap, but it's like a sensory soap for kids. Does it clean? I mean, technically, yes, it is a soap, but it's supposed to be, to be like, like fun in the bath, you know? Oh, okay. Not like a hand soap? No, 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 oh, no, no. okay. You smell it? Kinda. It's sure. fun, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, a cool yeah. texture. I know, right? right? Okay, now I'm gonna test. This is probably the most clickbait product I have ever purchased. Ever purchased. This, to me, is the definition of a clickbait product. Oh, it's so weird, guys. It is so weird. This is a jawline shaper. I'm under the impression it's supposed to like slim down and make it like trim, for lack of a better word. It's not supposed to give like a big distinguished jawline. That's what I'm getting out of this. So starting with the device itself, it looks like this. <laughs> oh. So basically you're supposed to like suction onto this and there are weights in different level of weights that this thing comes with and you put them on either side. So let's start with that. So it doesn't have numbers on it, but it, each of them have different thicknesses. So I'm gonna go with the, the thinnest ones. I assume that means they're the lightest. All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna wash this. All right, at least it's clean. <sighs> we'll do it. We're gonna just, we're in this together. We're already at this point. We might as well just do it. Mm. What? You're supposed to put it in your mouth and then shake it. I feel like I'm doing this wrong. Is there really a good way to do this? Who's to say? You're supposed to shake it up and down like this. Ah, I see. Okay. <gasps> you know what? Sometimes you see yourself doing something and you have this like out of body experience and you're like, what am I doing? That's, uh, that's how I felt about that. I feel like we've seen enough. It's just weird. It's just Weird. Oh man, that's just a, that's just a pass. That's just an absolute no. No, no, no pa. Enchilada is a no. I felt my jaw working for sure, but I feel like I can also get that same effect just by grinding my teeth, which is what I already do. I have a night guard and my orthodontist said he's never seen what he calls, he deems when you bite down on it, bullet holes like that. Um, so that's where I'm at in life. Let's just move right along. I feel like just pretend that didn't happen. This is a much 
less clickbait product, but still, I'm, I'm still categorizing it in that because of the way that I've seen people use this. It's by Garnier and it is their um, micellar cleansing jelly water. I have used Garnier micellar water before. I really like it. So first of all, I wanna see what this feels like in my hand. I don't know. It feels kind of jelly-like. It's not black and goopy and jelly and ugh, like everyone's been doing online and everyone's been like, wow, it's just, it's just a slightly more gel-like consistency to their classic micellar water. We will test it tonight though, because obviously I'm gonna see how my makeup's holding up with the, um, just full on hose effect of the this makeup sealer. So we'll check in in a bit. Hi, end of day. I feel like the makeup is makeuping still, except for right here. This is, this is not good. I mean, it's fine. It's just like, it's not, it's not the best. However, I will say that you know, like my makeup has stayed put all day long, has not moved, not even a little bit. But I think I like the makeup sealer, but I just need to find a way to make it work because the nozzle, it's just, it's just not it. I keep trying to think of ways and like, maybe if I like move it in a big circle or something, I don't, I don't know, but it just, yeah. That's the only part I don't like about it. It did seem to keep everything on my face like, Pretty good. But now it is time to take it all off of my face. This is an all-in-one cleaning solution. Just swipe it on with your fingers. No rinsing required. Rinsing required. Okay, I'm gonna rub it in and then I'm gonna wipe it away with this guy because I know that the makeup will basically come off of this. Oh, look at the gel. No, I'm just kidding. All right. That is a nice like a fresh scent to it. I still don't understand the whole like, don't rinse it afterwards. I mean, I just, I just really want to rinse it. I guess I should have checked. Can I put this near my eyeballs? Yep, face, eyes, and lips. Beautiful thing. How are you doing on the mascara? I think it's softening it. I assume it's all over my face though. All right, where's my, where's my cloth? I've had it. I mean, it got off. A lot of it looked like a punk band in the 90s. I think I would use this to like soften up a lot of my makeup, but I'm, I don't know. I just like, I feel like this is a lot of work and I, I didn't even have that much makeup on. Like this should, should, this should not be this difficult to get off. I'm gonna use the this the way it's intended. I just use it with a little bit of like warm water and then everything comes off. I, just, I don't think I'd want it like sitting around my eyes. Like it didn't sting or anything. It just kind of, I don't know. Felt kind of weird. I think I would just use to like soften up any aggressive makeup I have on. It didn't feel bad. I don't think it's a bad product. I just, I think I would rinse with it. That's it, that's, that's my two cents. So tell me in the comments if you've come across any of these types of products before. Leave me a comment down below who's come across some clickbait today and tell me which products you're excited about because I'm genuinely excited about the, like, the bubbles. <laughs> Big thanks to Halara for sponsoring this video. You can go and check out the link down below for their anniversary sale and also my coupon code RACH20 for 20% off all regularly priced items. I hope you guys are having a fantastic, fantastic day and I will see you guys all in the next one.